Okay, I just want to show you a quick hack for sort of formatting your text and stuff inside of Shortly that will save you a ton of time when you're trying to publish it to WordPress later. Uh, so you already know Shortly doesn't really have any kind of formatting tools in it. It's purely a writing tool. Uh, it's one of those things where I've, I have kind of thought about, you know, maybe having some sort of a way of, of having headers would be a good thing for it. So that, you know, when their article starts getting longer, it, there's ways of kind of separating it a little bit. But now that I think about it some more, I do, you know, I, I, I like shortly the way it is now, right? So that when you're writing, it's purely for writing. There's nothing kind of getting in the way. And so, you know, there's some trade-offs whenever you start making changes. And I'm concerned that once the uh, formatting of text and things like that becomes, if it were to become a thing instead of shortly, that uh, it might start causing some kind of um, conflicts down the road for the developer, you know, having to maintain that code or produce new features that also kind of take into account the changes that come from having formatting and stuff like that. Because, you know, stuff that's getting sent over to the AI is, could, could turn into patterns and things like that, uh, that maybe as a, as a writer, you don't have to deal with it, but the developers would. And, and in many ways, I think I would prefer if, shortly didn't have to worry about that. So Markdown, there is a little bit of a hack that you can do that will save you some time when you're publishing to WordPress. Uh, I'm sure other platforms probably do this too, but just for an example, if you're using the, um, the Gutenberg editor inside of WordPress, it has the ability to accept Markdown. Now, do you know what Markdown is? I mean, have you seen it before? It's, it's this sort of formatting language, so to speak, that um, many users now are using that instead of um, trying to use like the standard rich text formatters, you know, the things that cross the top of your document, like bold and italics and stuff. That's usually referred to as rich, rich text. And then there's HTML tags and stuff like that, that, you know, we, I'm sure you would prefer not to deal with that when you're in the middle of writing. So Markdown, you know, it was created back in 2005 and, you know, or I guess it became popular in 2005. And uh, it's used quite a bit now. And like there's a whole platform is dedicated to like Ghost. Uh, when you're blogging in the Ghost platform, it's using Markdown for its formatting. So Shortly, like I said, doesn't Shortly does itself doesn't really support Markdown, but you can use this as a nice hack. So Markdown looks like this down here below in this article. You can see there's hash, like two hashtags and then test heading. This would become an H2. Um, just regular old text with nothing is a, is a paragraph. If you uh, make a list with asterisks, it will become a bullet list and numbers will become numbers. And then this is how you do linking. If you put the text that you want to show up in the sentence in the square bracket and then right after have a parenthesis with the link in it, it will become a link. So let me just show you. Um, I guess let me roll back just a second. At this point in my workflow, I've already brainstormed what I want to write about, which in this case is Markdown with uh, using Markdown as a hack inside of Shortly. And then I researched it. That's where I got the information for John Gruber formed or created it with Aaron Schwartz back in 2005. And then now I need to edit. And so I've already written it, obviously, because here I am in Shortly. And then... I just use Grammarly to edit. You know, and in this case, it just has a couple of things that I should clean up. And now I'm done. So editing is basically complete. At this point, if it wasn't something that I had mostly written myself, I would also do a plagiarism check and things like that. But I'm confident that the article is good to go for now. And I just want to show you the next step. What's going to happen now is I need to get it... if. If I were to want to SEO optimize this, I would take it into phrase and make sure I'm reaching all my topic scores and stuff. But for now, I'm just gonna directly publish this one because I wanna show you what happens when you paste markdown text into uh, WordPress. There you go. This is what happens. The hashtags became uh, a heading paragraph got the list got the link another link um, I'm gonna undo this real quick because here's what I like to do in my articles 
when I'm here now, it's time to go through this here and sort of set up some headlines and things like that, or headings and bolding and stuff like that. So it is a sort of, I'd say, formatting. Let's see, it is a sort of formatting language used by many writers and places. Let's just go to there. This will make this into a bold. And let's do a little heading here. You say shortly doesn't support markdown, but and then do another one. WordPress accepts let's capitalize accepts markdown. I'll just leave it at that, and we'll come down here. Another one examples of markdown okay that's good enough let's just go ahead and change this to an h3 just because and then now now is when i would copy this and bring it over here into here so that i have all my my sections i use a table of contents tool where i can just do like this table hit hit table of contents and i'd get a table of contents there Another thing that you might do inside of your articles inside of shortly is if you knew where your table of contents was going to be, you could do something like this. And then when you paste it in, let's see if we can get rid of this. All right. You can just come here, click it, change. And that's a basic hack for using some uh, markdown. If you get good with markdown, you can pretty much do all this formatting and stuff inside of shortly. And then when you're done editing, you can just paste it right in and boom, all the formatting and stuff is done for you. And then you just do all the other little things, you know, like fill in your title, make sure your permalinks are good, and then any categories and tags and stuff like that. And I wonder if I should probably zoom in here a little bit. And that's, that's what happens when you paste in Markdown. Hope it helps and uh, happy writing. And see you in the next video where I talk about something new to help you create an efficient workflow. Take care.